hi guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel once again thank you so much for tuning in my name is Sakile for those who do not know me and if you are new here please do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon down below just so you can receive notifications from me each and every time i upload a brand new video and in today's video i have my beautiful friend here <laughs> in today's video i have my beautiful friend here with me and i will be doing her makeup and we will be doing a chit chat um having conversations and if you are interested on that please continue to watch so first i'm going to be starting with this serum just so you can get her face glowing first okay let me ask you the first question right um what is that one thing that you've learned this year that has changed your life or the way that you view things basically hmm mm -hmm. i think wait should i speak facing this way should i whatever is convenient like okay yeah i think to me it, it would be it's so important to move on from situations that mm -hmm. no longer serve you mm -hmm. and just being with the people that genuinely are about you and people that want to be with you want to be with you and mm -hmm. not force any thing friendship relationship mm -hmm. whatever it is mm -hmm. just don't force anything because that way it does not come effortlessly mm -hmm. and there's no like what is it mutual respect mutual love yeah. there's no like because i feel like um effortless friendships effortless relationships are so mm. important and they're so much easier so much easier it's to so do yeah much easier to so do easy to do with mm. and i just feel like having people that root mm -hmm. is it root root for you yeah we're rooting for you people yeah. who are rooting for you mm -hmm. i feel like it's so important because then you guys are able to do do things mm -hmm. for each other just like it's easy to reciprocate a person the that energy. is yeah it's easy to reciprocate the energy mm -hmm. with the people that genuinely are about you i think mm -hmm. from okay. yeah <laughs> people that genuinely mm -hmm. are about you and yeah mm, okay and what about you myself what i've learned this year is that uh everything happens for a reason and i feel like it ties with what you just said right like everything should just basically be effortless no forcing everything and when things happen you might not understand why they're happening or they might hurt a lot a lot, a lot. They and very hard to accept Thank during you. that time they're very hard to accept but like when you look i feel like sometimes i could like just have a conversation with my future self where my future self is like no girl relax you get it like mm. just chill out everything will turn mm. out because in the moment you just feel like oh my word my life is in shambles people are doing this i'm left behind why is this person not doing this da, 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 da. but like maybe in two months or three months or in a year you'll basically understand why certain things happen mm -hmm. you understand so everything happens for a reason like whatever situation you're going through it is hard to swallow the situation when you're going through it but best believe me, it happens for a reason it happens and one thing about god reason. he will show you why it happened thank you and it will unturn like basically everything just like makes sense it's just like well, i'm using sorry i'm using this maybelline fit me in the shade 350. It basically becomes such a full circle moment when God basically shows you why certain things have to happen the way that they happened. Even though when they're happening, when they're happening, you're just like, God, why is this happening to me? Like, I can't believe this is happening. Like, you know. But when when God shows you why He let certain things happen, it was basically for your own good. It was basically beneficial to you more than mm -hmm. you think. Mm -hmm. Even though in the moment you just feel like God is sabotaging you, God will never sabotage you. So never, ever, ever, ever. Keep that in mind. Everything He does is for your benefit. Doesn't matter how little or how big it is, it is for your own good. So just trust the process and just you know, yeah, man. Okay, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Since like most people, they are very like, let me not say interested, mm -hmm. but they. I feel like most people they want to know a little bit more about our friendship. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say something about our friendship? What oh. has like our friendship taught you? How, the start of our friendship, how it started. Oh. Guys, our friendship started in the weirdest way ever. Yes, 
you know what happened my friends and i went out and then we came back to my unit it was my birthday on the day i just moved in and then also you see i was kissing because like we were basically in the kitchen i was so <laughs> I was so but I was so lonely mm. and I heard people making noise. I was like mm. I'll sing you kiss her hands and one with our one lab and then mm. and then boom shagala and then she came out and then we chilled with my other it was like my guy friend we chilled we just started talking blah 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 and then me and her never had like an encounter we would like talk together so like we we're talking as a group right so when they left we just started talking like the whole night guys I'm not even exaggerating the whole night like we spoke the whole we night. opened up literally about our lives we did not know anything about each other we've never we've met never each met. other we've never seen each other but like we just opened up from day one it was so weird in the kitchen food says you are eating when i got like blah 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 so it, i feel like it was very much organic like it wasn't something that was forced yeah or i felt like okay say something oh you don't know this girl you know i just don't say this yeah. don't say this Girl, we were spilling the tea like from day one. So, Jay, yeah, that's what it happened. And what has it told you? Oh, it has told me a lot, hey. I feel like our friendship has told me a lot. Let me think of one of the big things that my friendship has told me. Okay, one of the big things is that um, I feel like it go, guys. I feel like everything we're saying it goes back to the points that we're talking about. Uti, don't force anything. Don't force anything. Like I feel like our friendship is so not forced. We don't force anything. We became so close in like a few weeks. minutes, a few minutes, and then in a few weeks it was just like we've known each other for, for like so the so longest long. time. It's so weird, actually. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with uh, Revlon Candid mm. concealer, and that like when you have something genuine, give it your all. That's what it should be. Like give it your all. Things shouldn't be forced. I just like how we com- how comfortable we are with each other. Very comfortable. Like we're very comfortable. And guys, it's so weird that uh, when we started being friends, right? Um, like if I were to wear something, she would be like, "Yo, I have the exact same thing." <laughs> Yo, guys, it was so crazy. Then. <laughs> or if she was to wear, like wear something, I would be like, "Girl, I have the same thing in my wardrobe." And she's like, "You're lying." It's just like we have it in the we have it in the same color, or it's in different colors, but it's the exact it's same, same thing. Design. It's, it's the same like, thing, girl. Stop Literally, and I we didn't like even know each other that time. Nothing. Literally, our wardrobes they look like in day one. Missing a guy's eye now, like my uncle can just help me. I I'm just like, man, this is so weird. So that's just how our friendship actually, you know. Yeah. For you, what have you learned through this friendship? I feel like I have never been in a position that, like, in a position where I was like completely, completely, completely comfortable with someone. Because mm-hmm. I feel like there were certain parts about myself that were that I would hide from other people. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I wouldn't mention it right now, but I just feel like there's so many things that. Um, I wasn't open to other people Mm -hmm. and I felt like to her it was very easy to open up and then when I realized that then I was like okay I have something with this person and I felt like it wasn't a thing where I would tell her something when I I would open up she would also open up to me and it would be like okay great Mm -hmm. because I felt like sometimes you can be in friendship and you feel like you're the one opening up more you feel like maybe then the other person is opening up more and you're not able to open open up to them Mm -hmm. because there's this part of you that is not comfortable with them yet Mm -hmm. but i feel like with her it was like like a small space of time (coughs) but we were able to open up to each other like a lot Mm -hmm. you know and i feel like it's not only about opening up the how we think and what views that we have in literally everything we have the same views we think Mm -hmm. the same way we do the same thing mm. so basically that's when i said like oh this might be a you know a good friend mm. for me and someone that god chose for me to be yeah. a friend i don't know if it makes sense but yeah i feel like how can i say it many things have have basically forced us to be together like some of the things we didn't even plan like they just happened so naturally so and so weird like it's a long story but it's so weird so now that we were basically not forced but like the universe was just like just stick together like we just mm-hmm. basically decided to embrace that in a way 
like we just decided to embrace that and the other thing is just like guys if you were to chill with us guys we are so goofy like yo very goofy guys we goofy like we can do the dumbest things and then people would look at us like okay are you guys for real are you guys for real i feel like another thing right mm -hmm. in friendships you find people that um how can i describe it like people are so serious man like oh, I've, 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 people are so serious for no Loosen reason up. Like, 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 people are so like Mm, that's true. So I feel like with her, I was so free to be as goofy as I want, mm. and I did not feel judged. Mm. And I don't care what other people think about yes. us. Like we could be as like it's like we live in our little bubble, We're on the bubble where yes. like it doesn't matter who thinks this. But and there are people who actually like who we are. Mm. So. Mm. I feel like who we are is not for everyone, but if you get it, you get it. If you don't, then you don't. You and don't, I feel like another thing okay. is we are so young. Yo, guys, I feel like people we just take so life so seriously. And it's not like I'm looking down upon people who take life seriously, but guys, just laugh a little, man. Play a little. Play a little. Like, and I mean, I feel like years after, you will miss those moments. Where, mm. Like, you will feel like, oh my god, oh my goodness, I should have been so playful mm. when mm. I had the time to. And I feel like I should have been so mm. free and because I feel like these days that that's what we are missing. We mm. like to act like oh, but dollars. Mm. No, let's just be young. And when time goes, then like you know, yeah. like how can I say? There are certain things like there are certain environments for certain types of behavior. Yes. Like you can act a certain way in whatever, but like with the same breath, I just feel like, oh, guys, man, I guess feeling gang man, let's just loosen up, let's stop being upset. And I feel like when people look at us, they think we are so serious. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah, we true. People think we are so Sorry. serious because we're always keeping to ourselves. It's always me, like, we always, you know. But like, if you were to spend like five minutes with us, it's just like, yo, guys, madness, madness. And the thing about us, we don't care who's around us because you're. We don't care. I, I feel like other people might say, yo, it's so embarrassing. Like, ladies, like you guys, <laughs> doing these things and we're just like having the time of our lives. We are ladies, but... We are ladies, like, but... We are not forced to be like... All the time. A lady can have some fun here and there, you know? Please. Please. I'm asking you a question, Ali. No, you're asking me a question. Wait, do we have a cream blush? <laughs> no, we don't, but it's fine. Mm. So I'll just go in with the um, liquid. I don't know if you guys can see. Mm. I'm gonna go in with this She Glam liquid blush in the shade Love Glam. <laughs> <laughs> Love cake. <laughs> that I have for her is mm -hmm. in this entire friendship mm -hmm. what would you change and what would you not change okay yo I feel yo I feel like questions like this it's gonna sound so cliche I wouldn't change anything I guess I'm so <laughs> sorry if I'm being cliche but I wouldn't change anything because I feel like even some misunderstandings that we do have they're very much necessary for the future mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. the reason why i wouldn't change anything is because i don't i wouldn't want a perfect friendship because our our friendship is perfect even as though it is it has imperfections mm -hmm. sounds cliche i know i wouldn't change anything and i feel like one thing that i want us to basically continue doing is basically supporting one another being ex guys like when i tell us like something she will literally jump up and down when she tells me something it's just like i start screaming at, you know that's one thing that i love about our friendship mm. is that it's very pure like it's, it's very, very pure. pure like it's not mm. you know like when people like man i feel like energy is it's everything you can sense it you can mm. sense when someone is genuinely happy for you mm. and you can sense when someone is trying to be happy for you mm. but i don't know mm. but i feel like with us it's like man i'm so happy for you mm. you know mm. and even if she would be like in a bad mood and i tell her good news mm. she would not like automatically like 
jump out of her mood but like even yeah. when she's not feeling well you would actually see that she's happy for you mm. i don't know if so energy is very important yeah energy is very important and i feel like yeah just good energy supporting one another you know sometimes it's difficult as friends when your friend has something and then you a bit left behind or vice versa it's very difficult it's not easy but you have to put yourself in a position where you understand that no, my time is also coming. You yeah. Know? Um, Very true. Isn't uh, isn't in things that I like you and you can't like in things that I like you and things that I like and that's okay and that's the beauty of friendship because we can learn certain things through one another. Mm. Okay, so I did this. Oh, how did you do it? Oh, you can do this. Let me also try it and try and apply it to my life. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we don't have the same journeys at the end of the day. Yeah. So I feel like yeah, that's the one thing that I wouldn't I wouldn't change anything about our friendship. But um, yeah, I want us to continue supporting one another and yeah. What would you change about our friendship? Hmm. I will make a phone. Yeah, charge and why is it flat? Uh, okay. What's that What would you change about our friendship? Okay, I wouldn't change anything, mm. honestly. I wouldn't change anything, but at the same time, I feel like we are we are so perfect as we are mm. and I feel like having to think about what can change now we are observing it's good day things I'm not saying good day there are things and we're just hiding them but we don't you know what I mean because now I would have to deep, think deep hard and I don't want to do that because now it brings a, a negative, negative energy in a way now I have to think what Mm. And I'm not saying we're always happy or we're always, but mm. we're always happy. We're always happy. To be quite honest, we we always, always happy. happy. Even if she's going through something, whatever, she has her moments. I have my moments, mm. and then we get back together. And because I feel like our energy, like basically, bounces off from one person to the next. So mm-hmm. it's very easy for me to be happy when you are happy, even though I'm feeling really sad or I'm yeah. really, like I'm really really sick. Mm-hmm. And then you know, so I, man, guys, yeah, that's what I. Feel. And I feel like that's where. The whole thing continues. It's important to have friends that bring you happiness, bring you mm. peace. Because then, if you're going through something, it doesn't necessarily have to be discussed so many times. Mm. But having them around just feels like okay, it's fine. Okay, we don't have to like talk about it. Mm. I don't have to like you know. Although we do talk about it, but I just but. feel like. It's not something that like we discuss like oh my goodness I'm going through mm. this or and like thinking about those things which I you are this guys stop bringing so much negativity onto the universe hey, no like, d- don't don't bring so much I feel like one thing that I want to accomplish is just being happy and being at peace not saying I'm ignoring and appreciating the yes, little the moments. little things and the, and being content. It's not saying what's well, life is perfect. Life is not perfect for everyone. It has never been. But perfect. let's stop bringing negativity onto the universe because I believe in the power of manifestation, child. And the power of time. And the power of time, baby. So now I'm using the Yardley translucent. I don't know if you guys see what I got in the Yeah, the translucent powder. It's in the shade what? Absolute translucent. Mm. And I'm gonna be using this powder puff. Okay, I have to ask you a question, Nane. Yeah. Okay. Um, what would you say, Nane? You. It's not like you really regret doing, but which which point in your life do you feel like you could have done something better? You don't really need to say the situation if you don't feel comfortable, but which point in your life do you feel like you could have done so much better? Like, oh my word, why did I do that? Um, okay, I feel like before I met her, right? My, my one thing about my boundaries, they were so, so, <laughs> so, we, so I feel like with her and I, eh, mm. when it comes to that, we like the complete opposite. I'm like a person that would like, I don't know, I tolerate so much, mm. and I feel like with her, she's like, no, like the first time, it's like, no. So with me, it's like, ish, I give people mm. chances. Mm. So I feel like. Before I met her, I used to give people chances more than I should have, actually. And I feel like it, it da- not damaged, but I feel like it, it, it ends up my situation, I mean, I could be more than, they would like, I could be in my situation, being a man, I could be like, I was supposed to stop there, like, it stops right here. But it really, because I did not have, like, strong boundaries. So I feel like after I met her, I, 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 
I learned the importance of saying no mm -hmm. and actually not feeling guilty or feeling bad about it. So I feel like that's something that I would say, you know, I did not have strong boundaries. I was not expressive enough of how I feel. Now it's like, if you, you know, no, 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 we're not about to do that. We're not about to do that. What's the question you have for me then? Okay. Besides the entire friendship, mm -hmm. right? what have I taught you? What have you taught me? Yeah. To get out of my shell. Like, that's one thing that you taught me. Like, I'm a very person, ne? So, I struggle to do a lot of things, right? I'm an overthinker. Okay, we're both overthinkers. But, like, with me, I feel like some things are just not necessary because, like, I have strong boundaries. I don't want to open up. I'm just, you know. So, I feel like with you, you told me, like, you basically told me to just get out of my comfort zone. Like, and stop sleeping on myself. Yeah, that's what you told me. And also, I can tell you what I told you. I feel like I've realized that because, okay, what I've said, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like I have, like, quoting, weaker boundaries and she has strong boundaries. I feel like she has taught me to mm. strengthen my boundaries a little bit and I have taught her to do that. Because sometimes it's not necessary, you know? <laughs> yeah. To be quite honest, like I used to say no to the things that I shouldn't be saying no to, like, girl, it's not that deep. Like, not in a sense of, like, I feel like, yeah, that's so true. You told me to actually loosen up because, like, I used to lose out on so many nice experiences, even though there's something that I shouldn't be experiencing, but it's just like it wouldn't hurt, you understand? Mm. So I am a person with strong point that, no, I'm not gonna do this, no, 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 no. So meeting her has actually told me to be like, you know what, girl, sometimes things happen, it's okay. And the thing is, guys, I'm very hard on myself, like, I am very hard on myself, because if I do something wrong, like, it's over for me. So now I'm a bit, oh, the other thing, to be kinder. To myself, that's the other thing you told me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In what way? In a way that I think I just said because I was hard on myself. I don't want to do certain things because of my strong boundaries. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now I can loosen up and be like, it's not that deep. Like, it's literally you don't have to beat yourself up. up about it. It's like it's not that deep because if something happens, guys, like you can literally do anything, money. I will overthink it like yo wow. And she's so quick to cut people off. Yo, yo. like she is so quick to cut people off to an extent mm. which woman would do like the little the little thing mm. and she like the person is like gone. Yeah. But I just feel like sometimes I'm there to say, girl, it's not, not that not deep. That, like you could like forgive this person, what they did is not as bad. Yeah. You know, there are people out there who do worse. Yeah. This person man. I'm <laughs> I'm um, making chance, but yeah, I mean, I don't play, I cut you off. Yo, uh, uh. So, uh, I feel like the minute I feel like you're better than your broker, I feel like that's one thing I've taught you to block people. <laughs> that's one thing I've taught her. This girl doesn't block people, guys. Yo, even if I feel like I'm not a woman, I don't feel like I'm not a woman. I know, man. It's not a woman, I'm not a woman. I'm not a woman. I know. I think it's block. I'm not a woman. 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 I told you to block that person and you decided not to. One thing about me, you see one wrong thing, I feel a bit off, I block you. Like, I will block you. I won't even say I don't appreciate what you said. No, I just block you. You know, you're asking me a question now. Am I? Oh, no, you asked me a question then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, can I be here? What would you say um, self-care is to you? Okay. This is self-care to me. Mm. Firstly, I love makeup, I love skincare, I love taking care of myself. I feel like, you know, <clears throat> I love taking care of myself mm. and I love to, if I look good, I feel good. Mm -hmm. So I feel like self-care to me is like investing, um, investing in, in things that make me feel good. Whether it's makeup, skincare, food. Anything that makes me feel good about myself, mm -hmm. that's self-care to me. I love taking showers, I love doing my skincare routine, I love doing <coughs> my makeup. And another thing, self-care to me, I feel like it's spending more time with my friend, honestly. Mm -hmm. And because I feel like um, she pours to me and I pour to her as well. Mm -hmm. So we pour into each other's cups and I feel like that's the most important thing. Um, when it comes to like people in your circle, they should pour into you, you should pour into them, and you guys should have something to you know share together. Mm. So I feel like that's self care to me, and just 
what can I say? I feel like just also not being hard on myself, that mm-hmm. self care, being forgiving to myself before anyone else, and also be for- forgiving to other people because if I don't forgive people, then those thoughts are left with me that oh mm. I, you know so i don't want to you know mm. so i feel like self-care to me is just basically pouring to myself and pouring into the people around me mm. what is self-care to you <laughs> <laughs> okay i feel like one of the most important points to me or factors about self-care is basically loving yourself i feel like Loving yourself basically rounds everything. It's basically a word that includes all the other things. Showing myself love, um, being kinder to myself, understanding that certain things happen for a reason, Mm -hmm. and being able to be, how can I say it? Being able to be the best version of myself, even if it's difficult. Even if it's difficult to do that. That is self-care to me because I'm sure my self-care and being more soft and being more gentle to myself. Uh, self-care to me is taking care of yourself, looking good, dressing up, smelling good. And I feel like, not, like self-care is not only taking care of yourself physically. Emotionally. Emotionally. Yes. You have to do the inner work. You have to, you know, I don't know how to explain it mm. further. But I just feel like self-care is also like having boundaries that's self care that's self care that's self care knowing that Respecting i cannot deal yourself. with this that's self care i cannot do i cannot deal with this and i feel like um removing yourself out of situations where you feel like you don't <coughs> belong in that anymore. is self care that is self care and choosing yourself putting yourself first that is self care because if you don't show yourself that amount, that amount of respect and love for yourself, you don't. You shouldn't expect the next person to do that for you. Yeah. Because true. that's not that's nobody's baby to feel. If you don't love yourself, people will treat you as such. Yeah. That's the honest truth. If you don't treat yourself, if you're not more kinder to yourself, people won't treat you as such. So it's basically an inner work. That's why it's self care, caring for yourself, and then all these other things are just things that just make you feel good. You know, smelling good, looking good, dressing up. Listening to music, eating my favorite meals, spoiling myself, those are just the other things that add on to all the other things that we just we've just mentioned. Yeah. What question do you have for me? What is your favorite self-care? Um what is your favorite thing to do? Mm-hmm. Okay, we have mentioned makeup, mm-hmm. um, skincare, food, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. What is like that main thing? that um you always do to pour into your cup like that that elevates your mood that makes you feel good like that mm-hmm. one whether it's an activity or what it what it is okay i think i have three main ones okay i think one okay Which is mm-hmm. one. i feel like the first one is basically talking to god mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. very important i feel like that makes me feel so much better and it makes me appreciate myself even more and then the other one is affirming myself with certain things journaling journaling and affirming myself that okay it's gonna be okay writing down my emotions the way that i feel and then last but not least is looking good i love dressing up i love looking good i love smelling good i feel like that's the only physical thing that i enjoy doing looking being good girly. being girly dressing up Spoiling myself, yeah. Investing and pouring. Mm. Yeah. Investing, investing, sorry, and pouring into my cup. That's yeah. Excuse me, when I speak, I'm speaking there because her hand is on my face. Yeah. Okay, let me pause. Let me do her eyebrow, <laughs> and then we'll continue after. Okay. I am done with her eyebrows, and we going to be using this she glam. What's it called? Smart Picky Palette. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna start with this shade just to create like a transition eyes. Okay. Oh I have some question now. Eh? Mm-hmm. Okay my question is besides from our friendship eh? mm-hmm. outside our friendship in other friendships that you've been in what have you learned from them? Other friendships. Mm-hmm. Letting go. <laughs> Letting go. Yeah. I mean <clears throat> that's the main one. Letting go and letting God. Because it's very important that when friendships end, let's not take it personally. Mm. Let's, you know, accept <clears throat> like that maybe we have different parts. Mm. Or maybe we have different, I don't know. God knows what he's doing and we should not get in his way 
in when it comes to that so i just feel like that's one thing that i have learned and also i have learned so much about myself what i want what i don't want mm -hmm. and what i want in a friendship how i want how I, how I would want to open up to my friend and how i would want my friend to open up because i feel like that's the beauty of um losing people in your life mm -hmm. you learn so much about yourself and what you want and what you what you will not deal with and what you actually love mm -hmm. you know because i feel like this is a journey this is life and i feel like there's a reason for everything yes. honestly there's a reason you won't you meet certain people for a certain reason and people are in your life for a specific season, season. Mm -hmm. and that's okay and it's okay to just move on and just um um what is this move on and trust god that he has the right people for you mm -hmm. because you have not met the people that will make you the happiest you have not met people that will make mm -hmm. you feel as free and the best thing to do is just be patient and wait for your turn mm -hmm. that's what i have and just move on it's okay. <laughs> okay. Moving on um, and not blaming the next person mm -hmm. for whatever reason the friendship ended. ended. You know? Like, like okay. sometimes. Oh, ask you. What? No, no, no. Either not. Oh, okay. I was the right way. Yeah, it's fine. So I just feel like whatever you were saying, that guys, sometimes it's okay. When a friendship ends, it's okay. It's not because the next person is a terrible person. Yes, yes. Or you are this great person. It's okay. Like sometimes it's like. With friends that you were, people that you were friends with from primary, you're not friends with in high school, in high school. Some you do take along, some you do live along along the way, and it's generally okay. And no pointing fingers, no feeling a certain way. Let's just be cool and move on. And one thing about about dragging people in your life, like let's say maybe dragging people from your f primary school, mm. dragging them not primary man, high school, secondary school to varsity, and like if you're forcing to be friends, God will show you along the way that this person, oh, they won't be that significant in your life anymore. Yes. You will see that, oh my goodness, like I'm so, I'm outgrowing this person. Thank you. And guys, yeah. it's okay to outgrow people. It's so okay. Like, don't it's feel really bad. I feel like most, like, most of the time I used to feel bad was, oh, I've outgrown this person. We've changed. Guys, it's okay. People evolve, people change. It is definitely okay for you to outgrow certain people because the person I was in high school, most definitely 50% of that has basically changed and it's okay if I've upgrown the friendship and even if you making the decision on your own let's say the next person feels like oh my god I still want to be friends with this person you know, do them justice guys please do them justice and just tell them or I don't know make it clear guys I don't know friendship mm. because it is it does hurt the next person do you get what I'm saying as difficult as it is just let the person know who's ish for like I don't want to be friends anymore. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Because mm. your friend from high school still thinks what he has in me and this person are still cool. Like, and you might feel like, yo, you have new varsity friends, or you have this, or you, you know, guys. Just tell the next person and just move on. Or show, no, don't show them. It's very hurtful when somebody shows you that like, they don't want to be friends with you. Know? Just tell the next person, move on. It's okay if you don't like your friend. Like, you don't like your friend from high school. Like, you know, just tell the next person, move on. It's okay if you don't like your friend from high school. Like, you know, just tell the next person, move on. It's okay if you don't like your friend from high school. Like, you know, just tell the next person, move on. It's okay if you don't like your friend from high school. It's definitely it's okay, literally, <laughs> generally, okay, like, yeah, yeah, you have to ask me a question, I was drawn up, okay, oh, that was nice, it's nice, I'm mm. doing it, very, very nice, think about it, girl, think about it, think about it, this is not the same thing, please, <coughs> yeah. Chef, baby. I'm gonna be using this. What is it called? The, the palette. Mm. I'm gonna use this shade to bronze mm. face. A question. Okay, what is that one thing? No, was no man was about coming as far as we end. No man was here. We are far more enjoying. You better do it. You would never do it. You'd rather die. Kill. Hmm. Kill. Kill. Like yeah. Kill someone. Kill someone. Oh, is it valid enough? Hmm. 
face that way, honestly. Oh, no, no, no. that way. Yeah. No, no, no. Face me now. Yo, why is it making me so shiny? Mm. Do you see here? No! Yin, it's taking away product. Oh, no. Your phone. What about it? Oh, it's... <coughs> why? Okay, let me fix it. <laughs> let me fix it real quick. And then I'll come back. What is your favorite thing to do with me? My favorite thing to do with you? We do a lot of things. Uh, okay. okay, we do a lot of things. But I feel like my favorite thing to do with you is the little things. Like sitting in bed and just choking, watching something together, or somebody, you being on your phone, me being on your phone, laying in bed together. That's what I like. Even though we do go out, of course I do enjoy those things. Uh, duh. But I feel like what I appreciate the most is us doing the little things together. Yeah. What do you enjoy that we do together? Getting ready to go somewhere. somewhere. Yeah, that's fun. That's my favorite thing. Yeah, that is really my question is, is that from a relationship, what is one thing that you will not tolerate? Lies. Lies. Lies? Mm. I will not tolerate someone that does, that lies to me. Like, you know, like when you lie to someone, you know, like, mm. like, it's like, it's in their blood to lie. To lie. So I feel like for me, it's lying. Mm. It's not sticking to your word yo don't tool mongas and sutin don't say something and then you won't yo please don't do that don't do not do i am using the avon lip what is it called <coughs> this is how it looks like the shade is perfect the shade is perfect nude yes what is okay um okay let me think of it properly so that's not what is yeah what is that one thing that you enjoyed about being single enjoyed am enjoy I, yeah am i single now no you're not are you single <laughs> tell us <laughs> tell us baby Overtake and take. Okay, I would not say I'm single. Mm. So my favorite thing about being single mm. is I learned so much about myself, mm -hmm. and I my relationship with God got stronger. You know, I had time to you know mm. do the things that I never got time to do. I I feel like being in a relationship distracts you from. A lot of things mm -hmm. and i feel like being alone i had so much time to connect to myself and who i really am so who i really am is nothing without god so i just got closer to god and it just you know it's just being for this opening about um what i want in the future what mm -hmm. i deserve what i'm mm -hmm. worth and i feel like another thing i was single while friends with her mm -hmm. so we were single together and we would do things for each other we would so now my standards are high not because of being alone but because of her mm -hmm. and i feel like how she treats me how i treat her and what she's willing to do for me mm -hmm. now entering a relationship i'm not willing to accept less than that mm -hmm. one question do you have for me you same thing same question oh one thing that i've enjoyed but being is learning, relearning to love myself, mm -hmm. um, being okay with being alone, right? And not having someone to depend on, basically. You know, even if you single, when you have someone maybe you talk to, and then sometimes you get distracted from being in touch with yourself, mm -hmm. and you know, so that's one thing that I've learned. And the other important thing that you've highlighted, God, that is like one thing. I feel like my relationship with God has improved when God removed the basically people that he felt like are not important and shouldn't be in my life. Mm -hmm. Because when there's no relationship, no more, like a lot of friends, you know, certain friendships, 
perished and 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 my relationship with god just it flourished our relationship became stronger i'm able to go to him and cry to him for certain things so i feel like i'm more dependent on god so when somebody else comes it's just like okay i have my friend i have god what do you bring to the table these people they treat me i'm an egg you know mm -hmm. to these people they see me as a queen what do you have to offer you know and i feel it it is basically taught me about myself and i have basically gained a few standards and i know my worth way best because i feel like when you're single you actually think about mm -mm, man, i didn't like that or i don't like this person and i feel like you you sober minded when you're single mm. out that one out time like out that one out time no you're not love um love is it love sick is there such thing as love sick or love drunk drunk and love yes drunk and love you're not drunk in love you just basically but that point that i was talking about is that oh yeah was so you're more level-headed when you see more you're able to make your own decisions you're able to love yourself and appreciate yourself appreciate yourself even more and your relationship with god is stronger guys have a strong relationship with god before you jump into a relationship please do that and i feel like mm. um not being in a relationship being single that's a topic that some people are not ready for mm. but sex when you are single when you are alone and you're not having any sexual activities or you know it i don't know it just brings so much peace in your life it just brings you know yeah so i feel like being in a relationship and mm. you get to connect with this person and then you feel like you're so attached to them and you get to tie yourself with you this get person. to tie yourself with this person mm. and i feel like now doing that it's like so and now you're not able to like do the things that you always i don't know yeah. how to explain and it and because this person is holding you back guys being active with someone this person your soul's tied together this person pulls you back it's like if you were to have an encounter with someone that you've been sexual with or intimate with mm -hmm. even though you're over that person you're able to feel something even though it's not like you love this person or you still care if the person walks in the room you can feel that this person is in the room so guys in my opinion it is very important that you very be very very careful with who you decide to be intimate with mm -hmm. who you decide to give this temple of yours because it is a temple be very very careful with who you basically tie yourself with guys you tie with, you're carrying so many bodies there's so many things that happen especially there's in this generation. so many things that happen you guys. don't you, you do want to know who you're dealing with yes. before you become intimate with them and if someone does not want like maybe let's say you're meeting someone and they do not respect that part of you then just let them go because mm. and guys point? you don't need to have sex to, st to strengthen a relationship you it don't. is okay to not not to have sex like don't feel like sex basically takes the relationship to the next level or whatever personally i feel like wait mm. before you jump into sex because now if you're if the relationship is built on sex the relationship if the foundation is sex best believe baby to carry out this that relationship or for that relationship to basically be sustained you will need to have sex continuously because there's nothing level headed that you guys can do besides sex there's nothing so who's <laughs> it laughing so please guys wait before you have sex with me be careful even if you don't want to have sex with them it's okay if you want to wait for marriage Babe, wait for Mary. Oh, so ask you. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Mm, yeah. mm. Also, again, I just feel like um. Oh, oh. Also, you want to say that. What you want to in Italian sex? It doesn't need you. If oh yes, I feel like that's when you get people in this generation like maybe Aben, we've had a misunderstanding mm. people use sex to fix yes. a misunderstanding they don't sit mm. down and, and talk, talk and face what they really are going mm. through they would rather just make up and then the, and fix and then they think that the problem is basically fixed fix. and then yes. they go through the same thing over and, and over again. Make out again and then they and make then they out again and then they go back and then sexual thoughts being pure-minded uh, innocent whatever what is that one thing that you want to share? Whatever, whatever. What is that one thing that you share with that person? Think about that. So, 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 so. Crickets. Crickets. Think about that. Hang is born. Hang is born. You got to pay. Wait. Sing for this baby. Final look, everybody. 
So to wrap up this conversation, how can you wrap it up? How can you wrap it up? Um, or let's just say something. Say something that you want to tell people that you would wish. Okay. What I would wish to tell you guys is love yourself, mm -hmm. love God, mm -hmm. way, and pour into yourself and involve yourself with people who pour into your life mm -hmm. and make sure that you also pour into the yourself. people around mm -hmm. you. Because, okay, yeah, <laughs> you also pour into yourself, but you also don't be selfish mm -hmm. and want people to pour into you, but you don't want them you don't want to pour into mm. them pour into them love them love everyone be kind to yourself be kind to other people and mm. always know that god loves you mm. what can you say what i can say is that first and foremost secret formula for everyone as she said is god that's literally god is the secret for if you want a formula to anything put god first involve god in oh, yes involve god in every little thing you do you might think it's little and guys a relationship with god is not very stiff i feel like people feel like <sighs> no guys speak to god as i speak to be god. yourself he knows you, you more than he anyone. knows you more than anyone the other thing is that uh, i would say that the only thing standing in your way is fear That's and yourself and yourself yes yourself mm, the only thing standing in your way is fear and self-sabotage if you want to do something do it um surround you surround yourself being surround you girl surround yourself with people who bring out the best in you right and anything is possible man anything is possible your dreams are valid. thank you your dreams are valid be positive stop bringing negativity to the universe because it's, the universe will bring you the universe will listen guys the power of the tongue manifestation Pray, read your Bible, spread love, spread ha radiate happiness, guys. Be happy. Yeah, that's all I can say. Okay. And look good. Why are you doing it? <laughs> <laughs> look good. What are you doing, it, guys? Show yourself love, guys. Self love. They're like show yourself love. Okay. Next time you'll be doing my makeup. Yeah. Next yeah. time. <laughs> so, oh, you wanna see? Mm -hmm. no, I'm done. Oh. I don't have anything to say. Okay, this wraps up today's video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Mm. Please do not forget to subscribe once again, Please. comment down below, and tell me what you think of this video. It is very much appreciated. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is very much appreciated. And thank you so much once again. Bye. Thank you.